We're going to take a look at patterns now. If we switch over to SolidWorks, we'll take a look at this handle component here. If we just have a look at this, you'll see it's a pretty curvy shape. There's no real straight edges on the model at all. And this is something that has caused people who create patterns a bit of trouble for some time, especially the linear pattern as an example. To create a linear pattern, historically, we would have needed an edge to define the direction or a sketch. And as we don't have a straight edge on this model, it's very difficult for us to choose that. So what we might have had to do is display the temporary axes or create a sketch to define the direction. But in 2016, the scope for what we use for a pattern reference has now been expanded to include planar faces, reference planes, cylindrical faces, and many more. So here, if we start our linear pattern, we can choose a direction. So for example, we'll choose that direction. And the select or the remainder of the selections is exactly the same. Choose the feature we want to pattern and away we go. Just makes life a lot easier with respect to creating patterns, especially on curvy components like this. If we just take a look at this here, you'll see there's a, a sort of starting of a stipple grip pattern available to us here. And this has been created using the variable pattern tool. So everything within the variable pattern tool is driven from a table shown over on the right hand side here. But one of the things that wasn't allowed in previous versions was zero values and also negative values. So if we just add another uh, cell in here, which is a minus value for that, and we'll just update our preview and we can see the pattern creating based on the values we've put in. So the limitations regarding zero values and negative values have been addressed in this release. You'll also see this value here is being driven by an equation. Much easier to see in 2016 because it carries the equation symbol next to it. So again, that didn't happen in previous releases. Towards the bottom left, we can actually choose to import data from Excel. So if you've created your data in an Excel source like Excel, we can actually access that data and read it directly into the pattern table, saving us any duplication of effort but it's also sometimes quite a nice way to fill all the values in. Again, if we update the preview, we can see the impact those values have on our pattern. So some nice improvements in 2016 there. So we've seen the expanded direction options for linear pattern, the improvements to the variable pattern tool, and the ability to import from Microsoft Excel.